Hello everyone, I am Master Alakman and today I will be cooking a simple dish. It's just macaroni uh, spaghetti, I think. I don't know what to call it. I'm just gonna call it macaroni spaghetti pasta or something, I don't know. But I'm going to use mostly Filipino ingredients or not Filipino ingredients, ingredients I have at home in the Philippines because I'm Filipino. All I have is um, basil, paprika, butter, lemon, black pepper, tomatoes, around 5 uh, macaroni, water, del monte, and olive oil. Oh, also garlic. I forgot the garlic. And cheese, please. I'm not disgusting. <laughs> cheese wheeze and garlic what am I gonna do with these I'm gonna make a darn pasta with it a gosh darn pasta and no one's gonna stop me get it all right let's start where am I all right good here's a knife and here is the garlic around let's say three or four four cloves is enough I think Ugh. Sorry, but you need to swear to food. It's bad luck here in the Philippines. Crush them. To release the taste, I guess. Uh, then mince after. Wait. Alright, the garlic is now minced. Gotta wash these tomatoes. Uh, then I'm gonna slice them up. Preferably for me, into fours. Remove the leaves. Yep. And yes, I am including the the this part, the, the dot above it where the stem used to be anyway. Now, I'm going to heat the pan. Turn it. That was loud. Turn the pan. Preferably non-stick. Heat it up. Okay. Bring it to the world. Then, preferably, I'm gonna add olive oil like this. Can you see it? There you go. Then, I'll wait for it to heat up and start, or whatever. Preferably, I should have heated it first, I don't know. But I'm lazy to wait because I've never done a video before. All right. Wait, I can't add that first. I'll add it later when up so it just happens so I'll heat it up a bit remember heat it up first don't do what I did <laughs> what I did was like I got impatient I added the oil immediately smell it a bit okay that's olives that is olive how many minutes do I have okay that's enough and basically while it's sizzling, which it is now, you add the garlic. That is a good sizzle. Of course, you can't just use your hands, you gotta use a non stick spatula for this. I don't think anyone can do this at home. It depends, especially, but you can just like try with materials you have at home. Similar materials. If you don't have olive oil, you could try vegetable oil. Who knows? It will work. But olive oil is really what I like to suggest. It's because it's like, um, it releases the taste of the garlic, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm fat. <laughs> Thank you for seeing my fat body. 
Okay, now it's three minutes. Um, we'll pause for now. When the garlic is about this, like this, it's a bit golden now. Wait, yeah, there. I don't think you could see it, but whatever. It's really basically it's releasing the juicy juices. That's when you add the tomatoes. Yep. Alright, that's tomatoes. Then you wait for it to sizzle or whatever. I'll be back. And then you add the spices, like the basil. After a few minutes of frying it. Basil, lots and lots of basil. Teaspoon of black pepper is enough. Uh, like that or whatever. Why am I doing this? I like it. I like my spices burn. Thank you very much. Paprika. Just like a few taps of sprinkles of paprika. Oh my god, that smells so good. By the way, I just ate. I'm gonna eat this later. I'm not going to eat this now. It's just pasta I'm making for fun. And for a video, thank you very much. I'm gonna pause. Alright, now, your uh, what you're cooking is gonna look like this, right? It's gonna look like this with all the brown garlic and the spicy tomatoes. Alright. That is when you add the lemon zest. You're gonna need this equipment over here. Wait, yeah. This thing, which is like a grater. It's a grater. Let's add this. Lemon. Zest is now included, I think. Wait, have I already used this? Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, shit, it's not so good. Mm, that's not good. Uh huh. Yep, that smells really damn good. I wish you guys were here. Anyway, I'm gonna pause. After a few minutes of frying, you add the damante ketchup. Yeah. I'm just gonna pour it all over, basically. Wait, how do you do this? Yep. Yep. Uh huh. There you go. Not finish the whole packet. Maybe half of the packet is enough. Around that size. Um, gonna find a cover for this thing. And also the cheese mix. Just cheese. Well, I don't have to make a piece. But I have actual cheese. So, how many? Do I have for this? I think two or three teaspoons is enough. Oh god, I hope Gordon Ramsay doesn't see this. <laughs> I don't know. That's like painful if I <laughs> judge, criticize them, whatever. It's, it's cool. Criticism is a good thing. And then, for three teaspoons of that. Your pasta is going to look like this. Mac and cheese, right? That's what it's called. I'm making mac and cheese. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna pause again. And that is when you add water. Oh dear God, I'm so scared. Okay. Now, this mac and cheese, why do they add water? That's because the pasta is going to be cooked along with the sauce. So that it tastes better. This is barilla pasta, so you could do that. In regular Filipino pasta, I don't think you can because it's too like it's it's really hard. It takes too long for it to cook. Because it has all those uh weird resources in them and stuff. Ingredients I mean. So you just have enough for yourself or for the family. That's enough for my family. See it took half thing. And just wait. 
I'm gonna show you the final product later. Uh, I toast instead I toasted it for 10 minutes and it browned finally. And also um, for this, it's supposed to look like this. The what do you call this? The mac and cheese. This is my own style of mac and cheese. I've been making it for like a while now with different versions of it. Yep, it rang 10 minutes. But here you go. This is the Ooh, it smells good. Um, this is the tomatoes, cheese, and well, Del Monte. By the way, when you use Del Monte, you use original blend. But if you like Filipino style, you use sweet blend. Because Filipinos really love the sweet food. But for me, uh, preferably, I like sour. So I use the original blend. So yeah, here it is. And I am going to serve it with the darned oops garlic bread okay that is the garlic bread I haven't added the basil yet I will calm down gosh darn that. this is a boring video I hope you learned something yeah that's what's important you learn something that's nice that's why I post educational stuff about the Philippines I like learning stuff even though I am an idiot and I don't have a module but that's pretty much it here's the basil And to top it all off, more basil. I love basil, okay? I know it's, I know it's, there's a too much of the same thing, but I just love basil. And no, you don't require to add MSG for this recipe. Maybe you could add a little salt though. No, that's not salt. I'll try tasting it first. Before I add anything though. Need salt. But the cheese is already kind of salted. So you should be careful with the salt. Maybe a pinch. Two pinches. Was not enough per pinch. There, that's a pinch. There you go. Different teaspoon. I'm gonna wash a lot later. It's okay. Oh, that's good. If not, splendid. That is sour, salty, and kind of sweet. Weirdly. Weirdly enough, it's pretty sweet, but what do you think of my mac and cheese? This is just tancha tancha, by the way. I don't know if there's no real measurements, it's just how I cook. So there are mistakes, but I think I've kind of mastered measurements in my head. I just don't know what they are. For example, when you add sauce, you add maybe the equivalent of half a cup or one and a half, which I don't know if it is true. I know that's three teaspoons, but that's way more than the supposed three teaspoons. So I don't know. What looks If it looks all right for me, Looks alright, and it tastes good. Yeah, I should be careful with my health though. But I'm gonna share this with everyone though, so that's fine. I'm gonna... Different teaspoon. Yeah, I have another prepared here. Did I already use this? What the fudge? Anyway, I'm gonna taste this.
That's really sour and salty. Splendid. And I will now serve it. All right. After that, you just wait for like probably 30 minutes. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Oh, by the way, I forgot. It should be boiling, the water, because I forgot to make it boil. I'm not the best cook, okay? Just gotta say, I am not the best cook. I just cook really deliciously, but I don't think it's healthy. Neither is it the best type of ingredients for the food. I'm just sharing what I usually eat. If it's too fattening, fair, you could criticize that, <laughs> I guess. But I am not that good of a cook. If you have any other um, answer, I didn't even use the butter, I forgot, but that's for the, I guess that's for the garlic bread. But yeah, just keep, just stay with me. <laughs> keep up with me, I don't know, I'm not that good. Alright, thank you. Bread, I much prefer wheat bread, but we don't have wheat bread today, so I only have white bread. Uh, what do you do? Remember the leftover garlic I had? Well, I'm using that, if I can find it. Yep, there it is. Yeah, this one. My hands are washed, so they're clean. Ah. Okay, so basically all you have to do is... Oh crap. I'm such a messy eater. I'm gonna clean, the, clean this piece later. Do not worry. Okay. It's crushed. Now you can add the garlic on the bread. And then some butter and some basil. That's it. That pretty much is it for this recipe. Uh, dried basil preferably. Because, um, I don't know. It's, it tastes better, I guess. <laughs> dried basil, like the spice you see mm -hmm. on SM or maybe malls nearby you. I don't know. I'm not that good of a cook, guys. I'm sorry. Not the best. You can, like, really give me some suggestions on this one because I need to be a better cook for my family one day. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Thank you for watching, by the way. Most of my, uh, of my works. Um, I'm really glad that people are actually criticizing it. For example, one guy criticized my PC universe. I agree. I did not put any solitary superhero crap there. And that's fair. That is a very fair assessment. I'll be making another cinematic universe example. Which is fair because uh, mine was really focusing on Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Which should it be? There are hundreds of other heroes there. Other heroes that need some con contextual writing, right? That's a good, that's a very good criticism. I love that. But to be fair, you have to acknowledge as well that this is just a fan made thing and it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect you in your life at all. Unless you're a writer as well. You're a writer. I get you. I get you, bro. Anyway, yeah, this is just me yapping or whatever, as the kids say these days. I need extra garlic for this, so that, yeah. Oh god, the table's a mess, they're gonna kill me. Don't worry, I'm gonna clean it, as per usual. That's a lot of garlic, huh? I'm gonna add butter. Okay, so the butter, you need a teaspoon for that, or something. No, not something. Just a teaspoon. You spread it well around your bread. Like this. With the garlic beneath. I guess. Can you see it? You cannot see it. Oh my god. Eh. There. What I'm doing right now is with uh, is placing the butter above the garlic. So that it won't like burn I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna feed this to my family later. Yeah, we're a farm family of five, but yeah, I don't think my brother likes the other foods. He also has the same 
uh, uh, disability as I do. Yeah. So he has trouble eating food. I had to learn how to eat food. Fun fact. I didn't like the food before. I was very. I'm a very picky eater until now. It's partially because of my uh, condition, if you know what I mean. But it's okay. I've always accepted who I am. I just have trouble that with the fact that I, because of who I am, I usually hurt people. And I don't like hurting people. I don't like offending people. But my friend, my dearest friend, told me that I gotta live with that. With the fact, with what I'm doing right now. Anyway, I gotta cook this. Toast this for five minutes, alright? Alright. Put sugar in this. All I have to do is add the chocolate batter roll. Which is like a Filipino version of the Mexican chocolate batter roll. Which is just, it's the same thing without the spice. Just more sugar. I like the Mexican batter roll though. They're good. I don't know if they call it batter roll though. It's Aztec, I believe. Sorry. Here's my food. This is it. Um, here. Yeah. I suck at presentation to that. I'm so sorry. It's firm. Firm because uh, I cooked it with a sauce. And it's pretty sour. Also has a lot of spice because I, I added a lot of spice. I added it. There are probably 7 out of 10 for me. I made it though <laughs> and I'm critiquing it. It's a bit too spicy than I intended. But I added a lot of spice so I technically intended it. It's really good though. The sourness almost supports the black pepper, which creates this acidic spice to it, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah, there it is. The black pepper and the acid of the, this, the lemon and the tomatoes. Firm, firm spiciness. Straight garlic bread. Not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Hmm. If not, that's not that's that's probably the first time I actually like my own garlic bread. Hmm. The the tomato is so juicy when you taste it. Very good. Mm, the garlic might be undercooked. There are parts of that piece. No, it's not. It's not. Never mind. It's pretty good. Mmm, really supports this macaroni and cheese is the tomatoes. They have a firm juiciness to them. It keeps saying firm. They have a strong juiciness to them. Really juicy and sweet. As a Filipino tomato should. Use the macaroni and cheese. It's creamy as well. We're doing it's like a creamy, spicy, sus, aromatic, sour kind of deal. It's weird. I'm never using... It's basically the equivalent of uh, American string cheese in our uh, country. The cheese whiz, yeah. It's a spreadable cheese. It's not that good for this type of... I don't know. But it gives you a creamy texture though. I don't like it. <laughs> it's good though, it's good. 
it helps it kind of supports it really now for me in Filipino I don't think but it's pretty good yeah that's a lot of butter I'm gonna have to drink a lot of water after this and eat some vegetables later mash it down Overall, uh, clean pit club. This is pretty good. Mm. 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 Maybe video pal. Uh, Costco. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna. That was my grandfather. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to try my chocolate. Uh, I said. Maasim nga po eh. He meant it's sour. Yes, eh. but I'm cooking it sour. He doesn't like sour. It's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna drink this chocolate uh, milk. Obviously, it's cold because it I cooked it earlier, but it's pretty good. This chocolate batter roll I cooked off screen because I it was uh, supposed to be a gift for my atis. Not, not my atis, my... Uh, our yaya, yeah, our maids. Uh, yeah, I, I cook for them sometimes. But yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty darn good. It's cold. It's okay. Oh god, headache. <laughs> I can drink a lot of chocolate, but it's a good combo with this uh, pasta. So, what do you think? Did you like what I cooked? Hmm, just pretty good. Pretty good dish. I can only eat this much. This, uh, this, this to be scale. Because <laughs> I already ate dinner before this. Oh, hiccuping. Alright, I'm not gonna eat later tonight. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, did you like the food? I am not the best cook in the world. I just cook with what I have at home. Even though I'm technically a middle class Filipino, technically. Not a good thing though. Counting the corruption and politics in the Philippines. But what did you think? Do you think it's nice? Do you think um, I should cook more in this channel? What do you think? I really want to hear your thoughts in the channel. Oh, it's a bug. Weird. Oh, it likes my garlic, I guess. I forgot to clean that. Ugh. Oh, spicy thing, bud? Hmm? Yep, you are dying. Oof. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. You can't probably see it, but there's a bug that's practically dying right now. Can you not? Are you a vampire? Can't you eat garlic? Well, basically, yeah, that's it, guys. Bye!